My name is David Daniel Ball and these are the headlines for Tuesday the 19th of October 2010. And in today's tune we have Henry Abel Smith, a former governor of Queensland, and a Bible quote, Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. Psalm 2714. And in headlines from Fox, Republican candidates are pulling ahead in the bare knuckles race for campaign cash including in Nevada, where GOP Senate candidate Sharon Angle reports a whopping $14 million collected in the critical third quarter compared to less than $3 million for Harry Reid. Andrew Cuomo and Carl Palladino, the top two candidates in New York's gubernatorial race, both play it straight as they compete with a cast of minority party candidates in a surreal seven-way debate. Federal attorneys file legal brief and First Amendment fight over the construction of a Tennessee Muslim center, affirming that Islam is a recognized religion entitled to constitutional protection. Ken Cuccinelli warns during hearing that the federal government will be able to order Americans to buy anything if the state's lawsuit against health care overhaul goes down. And in breaking news from news.com.au, emergency declared following a spill of some 75,000 litres of crude oil on the beaches off Colombia's northern Caribbean coast. WikiLeaks will not publish some 400,000 secret reports on the Iraq war today, but they would be available very soon. Apple says its quarterly net profits soared 70% to $4.35 billion on strong sales of Macintosh computers, iPhones and iPads. Chris Bowen has admitted not all children will be released from detention despite a shift in the government's asylum seeker policy. And CFOs top firms more optimistic about their financial prospects, but most expect a slow return to economic growth, a survey says. From New South Wales and ACT, he's known ubiquitously as Walt and many claim he is quietly running the New South Wales government meet the mysterious Walt's accord. Fire brigade officers had to sit in their station and do nothing as a house burned just 10 minutes away because of a farcical rule. You hear that, Walt? The war between the state's top prosecutor and coroner overseeing the Die and Brimble inquest has widened. The usual triple O emergency number is in disarray with some emergency staff telling the public to dial 112 instead. Speak to Walt. From Queensland, a man who was crying over the body of his best mate after he thought he had just been killed in a hit and run was then run over by the same driver a court has heard. An Asian student walking home from a bus stop has been the latest victim of bag snatches in the Sunnybank area on Brisbane's south side. Two schools in the same electorate in Brisbane's west have had very different outcomes from the three million dollars allocated for the building the education revolution. A Morningside family failed to get a response when they rang Triple O after being threatened by a group of teens in their yard as police struggled to cope. Maybe they should have tried dialing 112. The war of words between the state's top prosecutors and the coroner overseeing the Diane Brimble inquest has widened. That's also in the state of Queensland. From Victoria, a government bungle saw a total of return to her mum's care after the young girl was admitted to hospital for taking ecstasy. Shouldn't have done that. A rapist who attacked his flatmate of four days as she slept on the couch will serve as little as 12 months for his crime. From the Northern Territory, there are at least 1,000 children at risk of harm in the Northern Territory who have received no support from the government, a damning report says. From South Australia, threats to the quality and availability of health care in regional communities have prompted a public backlash from Keith to Kangaroo Island. Adelaide residents will rely more on the city's new desalination plant and less on River Murray under proposed changes to water allocations. Lance Armstrong's suspected $2 million appearance fee for the tour down under has been backed up by discrepancies in the state's tourism budget. UNISA may be forced to put building works on hold if international student numbers keep falling after a 9% drop in commencements this year. Electricity companies want to make it easier to cut customers off during heat waves. From Western Australia, a jury has convicted a 63-year-old former teacher from Beverly of five counts of accessing child pornography. 
Financial irregularities are central to a dispute between a Pilbara project Chinese owners and a contract that has left hundreds of jobs in doubt. And there is nothing new from Tasmania. From the journalist's corner, from Fox, we have, following a debate with Frank last week, his GOP opponent, Sean Bialat, was heckled while in the midst of an interview. Sources are claiming the heckler was none other than Barney Frank's significant other. Angle and Reed land some heavy blows. Find out what the odds makers have to say on for Hannity. Then, if Obamacare is the symptom, does Virginia Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli have the cure? He goes on the record. House Dems are in the hot seat. Brett goes inside why some party members could face big problems at the polls and how the GOP will try to capitalize. The latest on Bill's explosive appearance on The View. Plus, Hume, Williams and Ham with an action-packed reality check. From comments in Bill O'Reilly, a view of The View one day later. By Melina Saval, we cannot afford to ignore the loneliness of teenage boys. By Jeffrey Scott Shapiro, Lessons of Chandra Levy's Murder. From Tim Blair, Past Imperfect, Hey Charger, Hail Hail, and Wordsmith Kev. From Andrew Bolt, Won't Tell You the Truth for Your Own Good, Bat Gillard against New South Wales, Mad Laws, I disagree, this is a dispute between a union rort and a major pork barrel, I don't want either. Out of context, Flannery explains his dud predictions. Shh, we're winning in Afghanistan. What does Gillard really want to do? Britain chooses nuclear over green power. Beat without bruising. A throne for Kev. Twice as much for Julius Price. The good racism that's killing children. And um, you sure to do with the new Virgin Atlantic advert. Court throws out male journalists, and more for you there at the link.